Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. On today's episode, let's look at how to view photos in the Finder. So this is a question I get from time to time. Somebody has a folder full of photos and they want to browse through the photos. They don't want to create a slideshow. They don't want to bring them into iPhoto. They just want to look at them. Well, there's several ways to do that in the Finder. Let's take a look. So here's a folder filled with photos. Now, right away, if I'm looking at the icon view, I can do that by clicking here, uh, I can see these small icons of the photos. If I want to see them in a larger size, I can use the slider down here. If you don't see this slider at the bottom, go to View and go to the Status Bar. And you can see I can hide it right there, show it right there. Now, if I simply drag this to the right, I can enlarge the photos and have a bigger view of each of them. I can just move around in the Finder window looking at them like that. Now if I switch to List View I'll get a very small icon on the left and that's not very useful. But if I go to Column View then I can select the photos and I'll see a larger preview on the right here. Then I could just simply click on another one and it will jump to that. I can actually use the arrow keys to move between the photos and quickly view previews of all of them. Now I can also use the quick look functionality of the Finder. Do that by selecting a photo, then pressing the space bar, and it'll bring up the little quick view window. And I can use the arrow keys to navigate around to different photos. Up, down, left, right, the whole thing. I can navigate through all the photos that are shown here. Now if I select a bunch of different photos, let's select these six and I press the space bar, uh, it'll bring up the quick view and I get this button here that allows me then to view all six of them at once. I can even enlarge this window here and then I can select any one I want to jump to it. Another Finder view you can use is the Cover Flow view. Click there to get it and then you have a list view at the bottom but at the top here you have all the photos and you can use the arrow keys to move between them very easily. You can increase the size by simply dragging down here on this control and see the photos a little bit larger. Now the preview application can help here as well. Just double click on a photo and it should open in preview or you can just manually open it in preview and you can see that one photo. But you can also select many of these or select all for the entire thing. I'm going to do Command O for open and I could see here that I've got the list of pictures here on the left and I can select one or use the arrow keys to go between them and see the photo over here. And then I have lots of ability to resize and from here I can even export and do other functions with these photos. A lot of these options work with things besides photos as well. For instance in Quick Look you can view videos. You can even view videos inside of icons if the icons are made large enough. And you can view things like PDF and text files as well using most of these techniques. So I hope you found this useful. Till next time this is Gary with MacMost Now. Want more video tutorials? Just go to MacMost.com, click on the Videos link at the top of the page, and then you can view all of the hundreds of MacMost videos by category.